so let us start to write some C++ program at the Visual Studio 2008 command line. Program as usual. Process of converting a high level programming language source code file into an executable is a two step process. You have got compilation and then linking. Let us compile the program cl slash c c. The output of the compilation will be an obj file. Okay, let us see whether there is any obj file in the directory. Okay, I got hello.obj. The next step is linking. Link. So let us give an output file name. So let it be test.exe and hello.dobj. Execute test. You will see hello world. That's all. Let us create a new source file called hello.hello2.cpp. So there also. I am actually saying stdio.h <coughs> then I will write a function called my abs which will compute the absolute value of a double val double parameter if a less than 0 a is equal to minus a so now you have got a function called my abs so let us compile this hello two dot obj you have already got hello dot cpp in the same folder so i will do hello for the hello world before using any function from another source file, you have to define the function prototype. So let us call the function. Let's try to compile this. Okay, I got hello dot wbg. I will try to link with so what I will do is that I will actually give hello dot hello two dot obj as well at the command line. Okay, now we have got out dot test dot txt as the output. Okay, we have got hello world file. So the output of compilation is an obj file and obj files are linked together to create a final executable file we're learning about library files okay i was planning to open hello to hello to dot cpp not hello to dot okay you have got a function called my abs see i'm going to write another uh, source file okay called hello 3 dot obj where i will have a function for round These are not wonderful examples of C++ coding style. My aim is to demonstrate how to create a library.
so let us compile hello 3.cpp okay you have got hello 2.cpp as well I'm going to make the uh, necessary modification to call the round function from the hello dot cpp file. Once again, you have to give the function prototype before invoking the function. Let it be 5.5. Let us compile this. Okay. Now, when I link, I have to give all three files at the command line. From where? From hello.obj, we will inv uh, invoke the main and then hello.obj for my abs and hello 3 dot obja for round my round okay so i will actually recompile it clc hello dot cpp now I will link it once again as okay. Now by giving hello.obj, hello2.obj, and hello3.obj, I have managed to create the final executable file which I will as test.exe. Okay, when I executed it, I got hello.6. Okay, okay. Now that uh, you have learned how to combine two or more obj files to produce the output file let's talk about the librarian so if you have got 20 obj files it will be cumbersome to give 20 obj files at the command line so visual c++ and for that matter most c++ development system has got a mechanism by which you can combine obj files related obj files into a library math functions are clubbed into something called a math library and standard io functions are actually uh, combined into something called stdlib Basically what happens is in the case of Visual C++ you have got MS, VC, RT, Runtime Library. It is available as a DLL as a library. There is a utility called lib inside the Visual C++ tool chain. You can use lib to produce the necessary libraries. Let's combine hello to obj and hello to hello 3 obj to hello.lib. Lib slash out hello dot clip hello two dot obj hello three dot obj okay now you have got hello dot lib available next time when you produce an exe you can actually instead of saying cl instead of saying see a link out test.exe hello.obj hello2.obj and hello3.obj you can say hello.lib now you can execute the program 